All right, it's time to put away the holiday card making and start looking at some birthday cards. So today I have four different birthday card ideas that I wanna share with you. And I also wanna tell you a little bit about my new card making club, which will start in January. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have four different quick and simple birthday card ideas to share with you. And I also wanna tell you a little bit about my card making club, which is going to start up in January. Now the cards in this video feature some brand new pattern paper, which is part of the celebration offering that is going to start in January. So as you know, Stampin' Up! has a new catalog called their mini catalog, and they also have celebration, which will start January 5th. So today I'm gonna to share some birthday card ideas with you that feature the new pattern paper. So I will be using the Flower and Field Designer Series paper. So this paper has a variety of different colors and look at all these fun patterns in this paper. So the cool thing about this paper is that some of the designs in here, you can cut out these floral images and you can use them as little embellishments in your card making. So that's what we're gonna do today. And the other celebration item that I'm going to feature today is this stamp set called Approaching Perfection. So this is a really cool stamp set because it has outside greetings for your card, like the happy birthday. And then of course it has some inside sentiments that you can use to decorate the inside of your cards. So this is also a celebration item, which means you can choose it for free with a $50 purchase during celebration. Simply click on the link featured in the description below this video and I'll be happy to send you some catalogs and tell you more about celebration. Okay, so before we get to these card ideas, I want to share a little bit about my new birthday card making club. So this will be the second year that I am doing this club and it was a lot of fun. It gives you an opportunity to create a variety of different birthday cards for men, women, children. So each month you will create 12 cards. You'll have 36 birthday cards by the end of this club. And I'll be featuring a new bundle of products uh, along with the designer series paper that month. Now, the other cool thing about this club is you can participate in all three months or you can just choose to participate in one or two. I am offering either card making kits only or the full club experience. So you can get all of the details by clicking on the link in the description below this video. Okay, so before we get to the actual card making, I just want to show you the designer paper. So this is a full sheet of the Flowers and Fields designer series paper. So this is that free celebration item that I shared with you. So the cool thing about this paper, like I mentioned earlier, is you can cut out all these little floral images here. You have to cut them out by hand but you can cut them out and they make just fun embellishments for your cards. So I cut out a couple of the daisies uh, just to feature on the cards that I'm sharing with you today, but there are a variety of other images in here that you can cut out and use to create cards as well. So I'll share more card ideas with you in my Sunday morning live video um, featuring some of the images that I cut out in this particular paper. Uh, for now, we'll just focus on using these adorable little daisies in our card making today. Okay, so this first birthday card idea I have to share with you is just a very simple design. I've matted out my pattern paper with some black cardstock. So let me show you how to make this. So you're going to start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of your card. So the next thing I did is just cut a three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of black cardstock. So this will serve as the mat for my designer series paper. Next, I cut a three by three inch piece of one of the pieces of pattern paper. And I'm just gonna adhere this to the top part of this black cardstock. Next, I cut a one by three inch piece of pattern paper. And this one has the daisies on it, so I'm just going to adhere that directly under this piece. And this becomes the focal point for our card. 
So the next thing I did is just took a bit of white twine and just wrapped it around this piece and then tied the ends into a cute little bow. Then I just took some additional twine and there's actually two pieces here, tied them together and then just added it to my little bow here. I just like to have fluffier bows on my card. So, all right, so we'll bring back our card and then we're just gonna add this right to the center of our white cardstock. And now we're just going to embellish it. So I just used one of the birthday images from that stamp set and I stamped it on a set of layering ovals. So that's what I have in the center here. And then we're just gonna embellish it with some of these adorable little daisies. So I just tucked one underneath and the other one we'll put up on the top. And then for the finishing touch, you can just go ahead and embellish it with pearls or I'm using some gold glimmer dots here, whatever you have on hand. And there you go. How beautiful is that? Now, as I mentioned, you can also decorate the inside of the card. The stamp set has a really fun little sentiment for the inside. So this card says, happy birthday. So what if you're a year older, you're fabulous. And then of course I just decorated it with a little bit more pattern paper. So really cool, fun way to create some birthday cards. All right, the second card idea is a great way to use up some scrap pieces of paper. And of course, we're also doing a little bit of embellishing with those fun little daisies from the pattern paper. So let me show you how to make this card. So again, we're gonna start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of our card. Then you will cut a one by four and a half inch piece of designer paper. So I'm using the daisies for this piece. Next, we'll cut a two by four inch piece of pattern paper, and then we're just gonna layer this on the card here. And then of course I have my birthday greeting for the front, so we'll add that. And then we'll just go ahead and embellish the card. So I'm actually using one of the edges of the pattern paper. So this little piece is just gonna tuck right underneath there. So even if when you're cutting out your little floral images, if you don't get a full pattern, you know, a full floral image, that's okay. You can use those edge ones. You can use the half image because it gets tucked underneath something. So it's kind of cool that you can use all those pieces on the designer paper. And then for the finishing touch, we'll just add a little bow here. So I have two pieces of twine tied together to create the little bow. And the last little bit of decorating, we're just gonna add some of these little gems. All right, so there you go. Another quick and simple card idea. And look how beautiful these little floral images are. They just add so much to this card. Okay, and so like the other one, you can do some decorating on the inside. So this time the front of my card says, happy birthday. The inside says, if things really do get better with age, then you're approaching perfection. So again, you can see I decorated on the inside with some pattern paper and I cut out one of those little daisies to decorate the inside as well. So just really super cute. All right, card number three is another fun design. This time I used quite a bit more pattern paper, but it's a really quick and simple design that you can use with any pattern paper you have. So let me show you how to make it. So start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of your card. Next, cut a four by four inch piece of pattern paper. So I'm using kind of the smaller print up on the top. And then you'll notice that I'm using the daisies, the kind of larger print on the bottom. Okay, next you need a one by four inch piece of black cardstock, and I'm just doing a little bit of paper tearing. So I'm just gonna tear this in half. And we're gonna use this to kind of embellish the bottom of our card. So you can see how I use that over here. Okay, so I just adhered that black cardstock to the back of this piece. And now we're just going to adhere it to the card. So the daisy, the pattern paper is one and a half by four inches. 
And then I just have that little torn black piece of cardstock adhered behind this daisy piece. So it just kind of gives it a, a nice little touch. All right, and then I'm using the same birthday sentiment again. So we'll add that. And then of course, we can just add our little cutout pieces here from the pattern paper, our little daisies, just to kind of embellish the card a little bit more. And then we can go ahead and embellish these little daisies. All right, so we went ahead and embellished these little daisies. Now we'll just add a little bit of twine tied into a bow. And then we'll trim off some of this excess here. And there we go. We have another beautiful and quick and simple birthday card. And of course, oh, let me show you the inside. So I again use that same uh, sentiment on the inside, the one that says, so what if you're a year older, you're fabulous. And then I did some kind of layering similar to what I did on the front of the card. I did that on the bottom here, and then of course embellished with a little daisy. So really pretty cards. All right, this last card idea has a little bit more twist to it. Um, so we're gonna do a little paper tearing down the side and we'll add some pattern paper on the inside, which of course you can see is visible to the outside when the card is closed. So it's got a little bit more pizzazz, but it's pretty quick and simple. So let me show you how to make this one. So you're again going to start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of your card. And right away we're gonna do our paper tearing. So you're just gonna start on the right side of the card front and just slowly tear your cardstock and kind of move it back and forth to get a fun look. So you basically don't want a straight tear, you just wanna add you know, a little bit of curve to it. Okay, so before we start decorating the outside, let's finish this part for the inside. So this is just a one by five and a half inch piece. So this is just gonna go completely on this right hand side of the card on the inside of the card. So it's just one by five and a half. So it's the full length of the card there. And then that way you can see your design. And you could even go back and tear this a little bit more if you want more of your uh, pattern paper to be showing. Okay, next you're gonna cut a two by four inch piece of this polka dot pattern paper. And we'll adhere this kind of in the center, a little off center. And here's where using up scraps comes in handy. So I have a little one by three inch piece of this daisy paper. So I'm just gonna add it on the left hand side. It just kind of gives it a nice little look and it's a great way to use up your scrap paper. Then of course we'll go ahead and add our birthday greeting. And then we will embellish our card with those adorable little daisies. See how fun and simple this is? <laughs> you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this pattern paper. And then we'll add a little bow, a little bit of twine here with our bow. Then we'll go ahead and add some of our little glitter dots here. So there you go. Another beautiful card. So let me show you the inside. So we already have this decorative piece because we tore the front of our card. So that's already done for the inside. And then you can just go ahead and stamp your little sentiment. Okay, so there you go. Now you have four quick and simple birthday card ideas that you can really use with any supplies that you have on hand. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.